So I have a question for you. We're talking about the volume of a pyramid and the volume of a cone. So if I were to take a pyramid, so we're in a prism. So if I have this prism right here and I have this pyramid, now these two, get these up here so you can see them. So these two notice that they have the same size base, right? So they fit together. So you can see they have the same size base and they are the same height. So the question is, how many pyramids do you think it will take to fill up this one prism? Well, if you notice, they fit inside each other, look like this. So you can see that pyramid is there inside that prism. So most people think that it takes two pyramids to fill one prism. Volume, we're filling things up, that's volume. So most people think that it takes two, but it actually takes three, okay? It takes three pyramids to fill up one prism that has the same size base and has the same height. So if we know then that the area, or excuse me, the volume of a prism is the area of the base times the height, then the volume of a pyramid that it takes three of to fill it, the volume of a pyramid, will be one-third the volume of that prism, okay? So BH is the volume of the prism. One-third would give us, the if we divide that by three, it gives us the volume of the pyramid. Again, B is the area of the base, and H is the height of the pyramid. Now we have slant height, but we're not gonna use slant height for volume. We only use that for lateral area and surface area. So if we take this pentagonal pyramid, we've got this pentagon right here. That's our base, right? Everything but the, is anything but the triangle. Now remember to find the area of a pentagon. That's our one half AP, or our AP over two, apothem times perimeter divided by two. So remember the apothem is this piece right here. So that's 5.5 times the perimeter. Well, my side length is eight and I have five of those sides. So my perimeter would be 40, eight times five, and then divided by two, because that's what the formula says to do. So five times five times 40 divided by two, and you get that the area of the base is 110. So the B is 110, and then I need the height. The height is the height of the entire shape, which is 9.1. So it would be one-third the area of the base times the height. So 110 times 9.1 divided by three, and you get 333.66666, so we'll just say 0.67, and that would be feet cubed. So that's how you do the volume of a pyramid. Okay, so we look, we notice we have a pyramid here. It's the area of the base. So isolate that base for just a minute. Look at the base, it's a rectangle. So the area of a rectangle is base times height, so it would be 21 times nine. Notice those are just the, the dimensions of the rectangle, not the height of the pyramid, the height of the, of the rectangle. When you're doing the base, you just look at the, at the um, the base part of it. You don't look at anything else. So 189. So then now its volume is the base times the area of the base times the height divided by three, so it would be 189. And then times five, that's how tall the pyramid is, divided by three, and you get 315 yards cubed or cubic yards. Okay, number three. Again, we have a triangle of our base. It's a right triangle, which is nice. So we've got our triangle base. So let's just focus on our base for a second, forget the rest of it. The area of the base, so the area of the triangle is base times height divided by two. So we're just looking at our triangle. So it's the base, 8.1 times the height of the triangle divided by two. That gives you 25.92. So that's the area of the base, and then the height of the pyramid is 11. So we would do 25.92 times 11, divide that by three. So 25.92 times 11, divided by three, you get 95.04. And that would be meters cubed. 
So a rectangular pyramid has a volume. So I'm giving you the volume, I'm giving you V, has a base of 25 by 18. That's important. You want to look at those numbers, find the height of the pyramid. So let's take a step back. Let's find the area of our base. Our base is a rectangle. And the base of a rectangle, the area of a rectangle is length times width or base times height of the rectangle. So it would be 25 times 18. Okay, so 25 times 18 is 450. So now let's go back to our formula. Volume is one third the area of the base times the height. Well, the volume was 525. One third the area of the base we found to be 450 times the height. Now, I always like to do whatever math I can do. So I'm gonna take that 450 and I'm gonna divide it by three. So now I have 525 is equal to 150 times H. Then you divide both sides by 150. So 525 divided by 150 is three and a half. So the height of that pyramid would be 3.5 and that would be feet. Okay. So it's very similar to what we did with prisms, but you divide by three to get the area of your base. So let's look again. Volume of a cone is going to be very very uh, close to the volume of a cylinder. Again, the area of the base times the height, but in this case, um, the area of the base was pi r squared, right? Because we have our base as a circle. So again, the volume is one third pi, or it's pi r squared h, but on the formula chart, it's gonna say one third the area of the base times the height. So one way to remember it is one is anytime you have a point, it's gonna be one third for the volume. Um, but you're gonna have a formula chart, so you're not gonna have to remember it, okay? So find the volume of this cone. So the volume of the cone, again, it's one third the area of the base times the height. Well, the base is a circle. So the area of a base would be pi times the radius squared. <clears throat> okay, so that's nine pi. Just to avoid writing the decimals, I'm gonna leave it like that. So the volume then would be one third the area of the base times the height. In this case, the height, the straight up and down height, not the slant height, the straight up and down height is four. So I would do, now I can type it all in, nine times pi times four divided by three, and I get 37.7 meters cubed. Now six is very similar. The only problem is that we don't have our radius. Now we have seen this triangle over and over and over again. So you would use Pythagorean theorem, or if you recognize that triple, you'll learn this is five, that radius is five. This is a five, 12, 13, but you can always do Pythagorean theorem to find it. We've done that several times, so I'm not gonna do it right now. So we need the area of my base. Now again, you can use one third pi r squared h if you want or you can find the area of your base just like you always did. Find the area of your base. So the area of my base is 25 pi. Now the volume is one third the area of the base times the height. And you can type that in 25 times pi times 12 divided by three and you get 100 pi or 314 meters cubed. Okay, find the radius of the cone. Radius is R. Find the radius of the cone if it has a volume of 1309 and a height of eight. All right, so let's go ahead and let's write everything out. So we know that volume is one third the area of the base times the height. Well, my base is a circle, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace it one third the area of the base times the height. Now I'm gonna start plugging in all of my numbers. So I'm gonna start putting in what I know. I know my volume is 1309 equals one third pi, and we want to know the radius, r squared, and then we have the height, eight. So we're gonna do all the math that we can do. I know one third and pi, and I can multiply by eight. So if I do eight, 
if I do 8 times pi divided by 3, then I end up with 1309 is equal to 8.3776. I'm going to just carry it out a little ways to help it out a little bit. We like to carry our decimals until the end. So if I take 1309 and divide that by 8.3776, I need to double check my math here. Pi, 1309 equals one third pi r squared times h. Oh, I see what I did on my original key. I did it wrong. So see, I can make mistakes too. On my original key, I forgot to do the, the eight. I didn't deal with the eight. Um, so, be careful with that. So I did all the math. One, so I did pi times eight divided by three, and you get 8.3776. Okay, then I'm gonna divide by 8.3776. So 1309 divided by 8.3776 is 156.25. And that's what R squared is. Remember how to undo that. We unsquare it with a square root, right? And then hit the square root. So the square root of 156.25 is 12.5. So the radius is 12.5. So write down your formulas, start filling in anything you know, do all the math you can on the left side and on the right side, and then start doing algebra to get all of your equations. Okay, so the volume for a pyramid and the volume for a cone is one-third the area of the base times the height. With a cone, the base never changes, so it's always pi r squared. So you can just go straight to one-third pi r squared times h. Now remember the one-third just means divide by three. Okay, multiplying by one-third is the same as dividing by three, so you can type in all of your numbers and then divide it by three, and that's how you can handle that one-third.